This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Thus have I heard. On one occasion, the Blessed One was living in the Kuru country, where there was a town of the Kurus named Kamar Sadama. There he addressed the bhikkhus thus, Bhikkhus. Venerable Sir, they replied, the Blessed One said this, Bhikkhus, this is the direct path for the purification of beings, for the surmounting of sorrow and lamentation, for the disappearance of pain and grief, for the attainment of the true way, for the realization of Nibbāna, namely, the four foundations of mindfulness. What are the four? Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu abides contemplating the body as a body, ardent, fully aware and mindful, having put away covetousness and grief for the world. He abides contemplating feelings as feelings, ardent, fully aware and mindful, having put away covetousness and grief for the world. He abides contemplating mind as mind, ardent, fully aware and mindful, having put away covetousness and grief for the world. He abides contemplating mind objects as mind objects, ardent, fully aware and mindful, having put away covetousness and grief for the world. Contemplation of the Body 1. Mindfulness of Breathing And how, bhikkhus, does a bhikkhu abide contemplating the body as a body? Here a bhikkhu, gone to the forest, or to the root of a tree, or to an empty hut, sits down. Having folded his legs crosswise, set his body erect, and established mindfulness in front of him, ever mindful he breathes in, mindful he breathes out. Breathing in long, he understands, I breathe in long, or breathing out long, he understands, I breathe out long. Breathing in short, he understands, I breathe in short. Or breathing out short, he understands, I breathe out short. He trains thus, I shall breathe in experiencing the whole body. He trains thus, I shall breathe out experiencing the whole body. He trains thus, I shall breathe in tranquilizing the bodily formation. He trains thus, I shall breathe out, tranquilizing the bodily formation. Just as a skilled lathe operator or his apprentice when making a long turn understands, I make a long turn, or when making a short turn understands, I make a short turn, so too, breathing in long, a bhikkhu understands, I breathe in long. He trains thus, I shall breathe out, tranquilizing the bodily formation. Insight In this way he abides contemplating the body as a body internally, or he abides contemplating the body as a body externally, or he abides contemplating the body as a body both internally and externally, or else he abides contemplating in the body its nature of arising, or he abides contemplating in the body its nature of vanishing, or he abides contemplating in the body its nature of both arising and vanishing. Or else mindfulness that there is a body is simply established in him to the extent necessary for bare knowledge and mindfulness. And he abides independent, not clinging to anything in the world. That is how a bhikkhu abides contemplating the body as a body. 2. The Four Postures Again, bhikkhus, when walking, a bhikkhu understands, I am walking. When standing, he understands, I am standing. When sitting, he understands, I am sitting. When lying down, he understands, I am lying down or he understands accordingly, however his body is disposed. In this way he abides contemplating the body as a body, internally, externally, and both internally and externally. 
and he abides independent, not clinging to anything in the world. That too is how a bhikkhu abides contemplating the body as a body.